Hello everybody, today we are going to be playing Dark Souls again, and this is part 4, I believe. Uh, so anyway, uh, last time we were here, we just killed, uh, I forget his name, but the Golden Knight that is down here. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go up here, and we're basically going to go back to where the blacksmith guy is, and... We're going to go to the next area of the game. Uh, so one thing I'm going to try to do in this video is kill another Black Knight to hopefully get a Black Knight weapon. If you got the Black Knight Great Sword from that uh, last guy, uh, or the last Black Knight that we killed, uh, congratulations, you have a really good weapon already. You can't use it until you get 18 Dexterity and 32 Strength. Uh, and I think that might be the required levels for all of the swords, uh, the great swords. Although you will be able to dual wield the weapon at 18 dexterity, or not dual wield, uh, two hand the weapon at 18 dexterity, and I think you need like uh, 16, wait is it 16, I don't think it's 16, I think it's like 24, I think at 24 strength actually you can two hand the weapon. Uh, might be a little bit wrong on those uh, stats, but I know for a fact it is uh, 32 strength and 18 dexterity for the Black Knight Greatsword. But anyway, I'm going to level up because I can. going to get my strength up. And uh, we're going to go down here again. Uh, and uh, this time we're going to go into another direction. Alright, so it should be coming up, but basically there is another path that we can take that will uh, bring us to a completely different area than the Dark Root Garden. But we're basically going to come up here, and uh, this leads to Deep Root Basin, I think it's called. Alright, so we should be near another bonfire, we're just, okay, so that, right there, that lizard, we're gonna want to kill that guy. Run up to him as fast as possible, and, ah, oh, fuck, I didn't get it. Okay, so basically, uh, we're gonna have another chance uh, to kill it in just a little bit, but those lizards are called Twinkling Titanite uh, Lizards. And basically, if you kill them, you get a Twinkling Titanite. And Twinkling Titanites are good for leveling up Black Knight weapons, which is, hopefully, if I don't end up being the 6% of uh, people who don't get any Black Knight weapons after killing all the Black Knights, hopefully, I will actually be able to use Twinkling Titanites, uh, this is our next Black Knight, but before we fight him, we're actually just going to go to a bonfire. The bonfire is going to be just uh, down here through this area. Uh, now we can just light this bonfire, and hopefully we get a good weapon. I think most of the Black Knight weapons are... Uh, I think most of them actually are uh, similar in damage. I think, I think they have like the same value. But anyway, this guy is. All right, seems a little bit harder to kill than the last one. But uh, but yeah, the Black Knight Greatsword is my favorite weapon in the game. 
just because of how much damage it outputs. Like, it just outputs raw damage. Especially when you get that shit up to, like, plus 5 when you, like, upgrade it all the way you can with, like, the Twinkling Titanite. Like, like that shit actually uh, does some good damage. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this guy right here. Actually, his weapon isn't uh, nearly as dangerous uh, as the weapon of the last Black Knight. So yeah, we're just gonna circle around him like this, and then... Yeah, he's almost dead. One more hit, and he is gone. Oh, okay, I thought it was gonna fall off the map. And we got a blue titan. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, we got a titanite chunk. Fuck. Alright, well that's fucking annoying. Uh, but down here we got another shield. This shield right here, I'm actually going to equip it right now. This is good for, I think, magic negation. I think that the, uh, what's it called? I, I think the grass crest shield actually, uh, does get rid of magic. So I think if like if you're fighting something that uses magic, you're gonna wanna use it. And I'm really gonna have to figure out uh how to get the Black Knight weapon. Although I'm pretty sure there are other weapons in the game that you can obtain that are similar, but Black Knight weapons like they are really really good and I'm kind of pissed off that uh I'm having trouble getting them. I don't even know what the uh, chances are of me not getting any of them. But anyway, we're going to come up here. We're going to kill this guy called Havel. Now, Havel, you are definitely going to want to kill this guy. Um, he's a little bit tricky, but basically, as long as you have your shield up, if he attacks you with his signature move right here, most of your endurance goes away. Now, if he drains out that endurance bar... He's going to likely one-shot you unless you have a lot of health. But he's going to one-shot you if you have your shield up and your endurance runs out. It's immediately going to do a bunch of damage. He is very, very repetitive with his swings. Um, but yeah, this is how I kill him. I just go to the side. I just circle around him. But the reason we are killing this guy is because he increases our equip load. Which basically means that you can use really good armor and be able to move fast at the same time. And like this ring that he's going to drop when we equip it. Like we're pretty much going to equip it for most of the game because it's that good. Like it is insane how good this ring is. Like, And it's going to help us. Uh, later on. But anyway, let's just try to bait him into doing his attack. Come on, bitch. Okay, oh, there we go. And just hit him. Yeah, he does have a lot of health. Um, and like all the enemies in this game, uh, you can choose to fight him later, but I highly, highly recommend at least killing him uh, at some point throughout uh, your playthrough. But, uh, Okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah, his move set is so repetitive that uh, that you should be able to memorize it really quickly. Just don't let that uh, that uh, big mallet hit you. I forget what this weapon's called. I think it's called like a dragon tooth, but it's it's a very powerful weapon. And actually, we can use a uh, a weapon like that later on in the game. So if if I do not get a Black Knight weapon, I'm going to use another weapon uh, that has a very insane strength requirement. Uh, it has an insane weight to it. I don't want to have to use it, but it does do a lot of damage output. So that is what I'm going to do if I don't get a Black Knight weapon. Bro, the Black Knight uh, shield, actually, if you get one of those, those have, like, apparently, like, really, really good fire damage. 
or fire damage negation, I should uh, say. Like, it'll just block out fire by the way. There we go. Havel is kind of annoying to kill. He just takes a long time and can really easily one-shot you. But we got Havel's ring. Basically, I'm, I'm just going to show you what it does right now. Uh, I'm going to take off all of this and I'm going to put on the Elite Knight Armor. There we go. All right, here. Uh, this isn't super heavy armor, and I have been getting my endurance up uh, lately. So, but one thing you'll notice is I am rolling a little bit slowly here. Now, if I put on Havel's ring, I'm rolling a lot faster, and that's because if we go into status right now, uh, under stamina, you should see equip load. Our equip load is up to 87. If we take this ring off, our equip load is at 58. And that is very insane. Like, that's almost like 50% uh, equip load right there. So we are going to put that back on. But yeah, that is actually crazy. So another thing I'm going to explain this right here. If you crawl up it, go up all these uh, stairs, basically, you can get to this door right here. And this is basically, uh, we already opened that, but this is basically right back to this area, which... Uh, this is the same tower that we killed the uh, poorest demon after going up. So yeah, one thing I love about Dark Souls is how interconnected the world is. Uh, oh shit, we just fell down. I did not mean to do that. But uh, thankfully, I didn't take too much uh, fall damage. But anyway, we're going back down. And, uh, and we don't even need to stop at a bonfire or anything. But yeah, we're going to go down and we're going to uh, kill some... Uh, enemies in the dark root basin so there's going to be a really annoying enemy in here uh, it's going to be a very annoying boss uh, it's not technically a boss it's a it's about as hard to defeat as a boss but technically speaking it's not a boss so uh, these are just crystal guys right here uh, they're not too difficult uh, a lot of these enemies yeah they they do explode crystals. Oh, shit. Okay, see, so that right there, that's why that... Ooh, what do we get? A blue titanite chunk. Those are actually good uh, for upgrading weapons. Anyway. I was just going to kill this guy. Okay, we got fucked by the hydra. So basically, there's a hydra down there that is uh, shooting water up at us. I didn't think it would... Uh, do too much damage on me. Clearly, I was wrong. Uh, I really hate killing the Hydra. Like, really, really hate it. Uh, but the Hydra, the Hydra is uh, a non-respawnable enemy, meaning that once you kill it, it's gone forever, and it actually drops. I think it's like a dragon scale or like a dragon titanite. There's some sort of like upgrade material with the word dragon in it uh but anyway we are going to get our souls actually i'm gonna level up first actually i should have actually gone for the bonfire just to uh level up before going back here but i'm gonna level up and come back up here just because it's always best to be at a high level when fighting things like hydras. Okay, now we have to come all the way down here. Oh, we're also going to have to track down that uh, crystal lizard again. Alright. Yeah, I just don't want to lose uh, these souls. Let's level up. Uh, Mm. 
I'm gonna get Vitality up for now. I mean, Vitality, like, right now, I don't need too much of it. But as we get, like, later and later into the game, like, I'm gonna start needing a lot of it. So it's gonna go from, like, I don't really need Vitality to I really, really need Vitality as it goes on. So, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start leveling that up a bit more, too. I'm really just trying to level up four things, uh, dexterity, strength, uh, dexterity I'm just gonna keep at 18, or maybe even lower if I don't get a Black Knight weapon. I'm just going to level up strength until I obtain a Black Knight weapon, and if I don't obtain a Black Knight weapon, because it is a random, uh, drop, ah, oh, fuck, okay, that's right, I have to, so killing this Hydra, we're gonna attempt to kill the Hydra, um, you only have to kill the Hydra if you want a certain upgrade material that are in limited supply, like really limited supply. Uh, yeah, killing the Hydra is going to be a pain because you have to kill these guys on your way down. And you also have to deal with a bunch of water coming at you. Now thankfully this water can actually kill these guys for you, but it can also kill you. So you're going to want to, uh, as this happens, you're going to want to stay behind trees. Uh, we're actually going to, uh, yeah, because the Hydras, um, in this game, there are a couple of them, and, uh, this Hydra right here is a really annoying thing to deal with. So anyway, you're going to want to stay behind trees, because those water things that start coming, they're going to hit you, unless you're behind a tree. This is a... That is not a thick tree at all, okay. Maybe we are just supposed to roll. Or have our shield up. It looks like, yeah, let's just keep our shield up. Uh, oh, even then. Holy shit. Yeah, you're gonna probably be, uh, losing a couple Estus flasks just trying to get down here. Uh... So this area is really annoying. We also got uh, the knight armor, which is useless now. But anyway, as the hydra comes down, basically you're gonna always want your shield up. Right here, you can see a very faint line, a very very faint line. You want, want to be careful because this tripped me up a few times. This line right here that we are standing against, you will fall to your death if you go past it, and and it is very hard to see. And, uh, this is probably what you will honestly die to most. But anyway, as you go down to the Hydra, you're just gonna want to, uh, attack it. You're gonna want your shield up until the Hydra does this. And as the Hydra does this, you're gonna want to start attacking. And then, you're gonna want to put your shield up until the Hydra comes down again. Um, not insanely difficult, but it's basically, like, you're gonna have to be very, very, very persistent, and it's going to take a long time, and even though it's not really difficult to do, if you die at any point, you're going to have to do it all over again. So it's basically just persistence. Uh, but obviously, with, like, all the time you spend trying to cut all these guys' uh, heads off, uh, you know, it is going to get annoying, and especially towards the end, it gets really annoying, and I'll show you what I mean. Ah, oh, fuck, he hit us with another fucking water blast, and that shit's really annoying. Okay, anyway. Okay. Okay, see, we got a little bit too close. Oh, shit, I almost fell down. That Hydra literally almost just knocked us into there. I was gonna be mad. Holy fuck, that would have that would have really made me mad if that happened. That that was that was real close. Okay. Get the head. Yeah, these guys, uh their heads are just gonna start uh coming off and uh as we get to the end there's gonna be uh heads that are harder to attack than the rest. But anyway, just keep on going for the head. It has three heads left. 
thankfully, or no, it has four, but thankfully this Hydra isn't like an actual Greek mythology like Hydra, because I believe in Greek mythology, every time you cut a head off, three more grow, and uh, if that happened in Dark Souls, that would, uh, yeah, that would be a problem. Like, could you imagine, like, playing this game, and every time you cut a head off, you had to, like, cut off three more? Okay, he has... Two heads left. Okay, so we want to go for this head right here that's on land. Uh, we want to go closer to the water, just barely in it, so we don't bait him into using his water attack. Uh, so yeah, we just want to go back here, but you don't want to go too far into water to fall off that ledge that you can barely see. You're probably honestly going to die a couple of times uh, to this guy. The only reason I'm not dying is because I'm being very, very careful, and I've played the entire game before, and I know inside and out. If I'm making this game look easy in any way, trust me, it is not easy. I've played this game before, um, and it is not an easy game. So at the end here, we have one head left, and when we get to the one head part, what I like to do is not attack that head. And the reason why is because his head goes very, very close to the ledge. As you can see, his head is right there. That's very close to the ledge, and basically he's going to go away from you, meaning that you're going to have to run to actually catch up to his head, because it's always going to be a couple of yards to your left. And basically, running by the edge is going to be very easy to uh, basically just fall off. So, we are going to finish him off with a bow and arrow. If you have no arrows left, you're going to want to buy some more. Basically, we're just going to finish him off like that. Hopefully. Yeah, and I don't think... Uh, I am i can't be too sure, but I don't think when he has this final head left, the one where, uh, where it's close to the edge, I don't think he's going to actually attack us. I think he's just going to go to the left, so I really don't think it's too much of an issue, but we're just going to continuously... I think you get extra points, too, if you can, like, shoot the uh, arrows into the uh, wounds that the heads used to be connected to. Uh, but I'm not going to do that, uh, just because I don't feel like aiming the weapon right now. And, okay, that guy's actually getting a little too close for comfort. Okay, maybe... He's actually getting closer to the normal, so maybe... Okay, and he stopped doing that, okay. Yeah, if he gets too close to us when we don't have our shield up, that might not be good. Yeah, he just got a little bit too close for comfort. Uh... Yeah, right there, he got... Yeah, I'm just gonna keep shooting and then... Yeah, this guy takes uh, a little while to uh, kill, but we should almost. There we go, we killed the Hydra. And how many souls do we get, actually? I think we get quite a bit, actually. We get 5,000, and we get a Dusk Crown Ring and a Dragon Scale. So. Yeah, uh, now we don't have to deal with annoying uh, water coming through here. Uh, so basically, the benefits of killing him, you get a dragon scale, which uh, can actually upgrade the drake sword. I'm not going to upgrade the drake sword. Uh, you can make the decision to upgrade the drake sword, but one thing that I will say is that no matter what you upgrade, you should do some research, uh, because... There are other weapons in the game that use the exact same material to upgrade them. And there is another sword that I think I'd rather upgrade with the dragon scales. So we're going to use all the dragon scales on a different weapon than the drake sword, just because the drake sword isn't the most powerful. But... Uh, you know, if you want, you can do your own research on the damage outputs and whatnot. Yeah, we're just gonna kill this guy right here. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, we got hit by that, uh, that crystal blast. Oh, 
part. For now, I'm just going to go back to the bonfire before we do anything else. Uh, just so I can level up. I should be able to level up once. Uh, we'll also, like, actually, I think the crystal lizard is up here. We'll see if we can get the crystal lizard. Was he up here? Basically, for the crystal lizard, they are very, very sneaky. I don't know where this one is. We are looking... There it is, okay. This guy right here, and basically you're going to want to attack it before it disappears. And we actually got two Twinkling Titanite from it. And uh, Twinkling Titanite helps us level up uh, Black Knight uh, weapons. And basically, uh, having a plus five Black Knight weapon is very, very uh, beneficial. It will do a lot of damage output. Uh, so yeah, if... Uh, actually, I might even use the Dragon Scale to... Because there is a monster weapon that you can get later on in the game. It's like... Uh, I think it's like a Great Axe or something, or like a Dragon Great Axe, I forget the name of it, but basically, it does a shit ton of uh, damage, like a lot. Uh, so I might just use all the Dragon skills to upgrade that one, and then I might upgrade another weapon to be really powerful. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm just going to get my strength up, because uh, I think it requires like... 36 or like 40 strength somewhere around there but not not completely sure but anyway we are going to continue throughout the game now i don't know how many black knights there actually are i know of four that exist but there might be more than that all Actually, I'm just going to do a quick Google search. Okay, so apparently there are 13 Black Knights. Uh, okay, so... Hmm... All right, I'm doing research on the Black Knight uh, weapons right now. But yeah, normally I don't actually get uh, this unlucky. Normally when I kill that uh, Black Knight at the tower that we killed last uh, episode, normally he drops a weapon. Uh... Anyway, we're going to kill this guy. Yeah, it looks like there are 13 in the game, and it looks like... Uh, it looks like only a couple of them. Uh... actually drop them. I'm not sure where to find them all, but uh, hopefully we get at least one of the Black Knight weapons.
Yeah, on my like uh on my PlayStation uh save of the game. I have like all the Black Knight weapons. Like I have the Black Knight sword, Black Knight great sword, the Black Knight great axe. I think the only thing I don't have is the halberd. And even if we don't get that, we're still going to use a very powerful strength based weapon. Alright, so anyway, right now we're just uh, going down here to explore. We already killed the Hydra. There will be a, a couple more Hydras uh, throughout the game. Actually, I'm going to check out that other ring. Okay, so the Dusk Crown Ring uh, allows for extra sorcery castings, but it will cut your HP in half. Okay. Actually, I don't know why I put that on. Oh, okay. Well, would you look at that? I just got rid of half my health just by trying it on. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's really only useful if you're a uh, sorcerer in the game. Okay, we have all this uh, water. And uh, we're going to go on the left side right here. I believe there is something we can do. I think actually, um, if you have Dark Souls uh, Prepare to Die Edition, or you have Dark Souls Remastered, uh, there's actually a way to access the DLC back here. Uh, I'm not going to be going through uh, the DLC, because I'm playing the... Uh, Xbox uh, 360 version of the game, and I don't have the Prepare to Die edition. Uh, the reason I'm playing this one, though, is because uh, I already beat Dark Souls Remastered on uh, PS4, so I thought, you know, maybe change it up a bit and, you know, just play Dark Souls on a, on an actual, like the original, original. But uh, in the future, however, oh, I may make a Dark Souls remastered uh, version of this where I play Dark Souls remastered. And it'll basically be a walkthrough of the game, just higher quality, because uh, right now my videos aren't too great. But basically right now we're trying to kill this guy uh, right here. Although now that I'm like making these videos, I'm, I'm kind of wishing that I used like my actual microphone because right now I'm using a headset mic just because it is easier. Uh, okay, this guy might actually kill me. Oh, fuck. But yeah, anyway, I'm just using my headset mic because it's convenient and easier. But uh, in future videos, I might just take out the... Uh, uh, okay, I don't have my Pyromancy Flame enabled. I don't even know if that'll do anything. I might actually just come to this guy later. I don't think I'm gonna kill him. I don't think there's anything else to do back here besides kill this guy. Uh, we are gonna kill him later, though, after I clearly have a better weapon and more uh, stamina. I really hate how, like, fucking slow this is. It's because I'm in water. So I'm, like, moving, like, really, really slow. Actually, maybe... I don't know if the Pyromancy Flame does much, but, uh, okay. Man, I really hate switching weapons really fast like that. Let's see if that... Okay. We're actually going to get, uh, our Pyromancy up a lot. Uh, throughout, uh, this series. Because right now I haven't really been using Pyromancy, but Pyromancy is really good. It allows you to throw stuff into enemies, and actually we might even get up attunement as well, because the more attunement you have, the more pyromancies you can use. The more attunement you have, the more sorceries and miracles you can use. Uh, so it might actually get attunement up as well. Uh, 
but I don't want to rely on pyromancies. I just kind of want to uh, use her actual weapons. But uh, I will use pyromancy uh, to at least help uh, along the way. You know, I'm actually thinking I might, I have an idea actually, I might get, uh, I think in my next video I might actually go through the uh, catacombs actually and get us a, uh, a better weapon than the Drake sword and also get uh, get the rate of kindling which will uh, increase the amount of essence we can have so anyway we're gonna go up here and this area is going to be kind of difficult but we do have soul items when we go up this ladder um, basically I don't know if I want to do this actually I might die because there are these like really hard cat enemies up here uh yeah we're back up to dark root garden but i believe okay so we're not gonna go that way straight yet or one of these goes to certain death one of them goes to more items i'm gonna cross the bridge first and uh I'll let you know if that's a good idea after I uh, experience the consequences uh, of going here, good or bad. Okay, not... Alright, bad, bad, bad. We're gonna go over the bridge again. Um, yep, don't go over the bridge. Do not go over the bridge. I just saw one of those cat enemies. Those cat enemies are uh, really hard to uh, defeat. So, um... Instead, we're going to go up here and see uh, what's up with this area. And, uh, yeah, we're just... Oh, shit. What did I get? Oh, one of these fuckers. Uh, these guys, like, blend in perfectly. Ah, fuck. Uh, fuck these guys. Yeah, they blend in really, really well. So I can't, like, see them. Like, it is actually really, really annoying to the same color as everything else, so... You know, one of them starts attacking, another starts attacking, and I can't see either of them. Uh, that creates lots of uh, problems. Okay. We're just going to go to where we died. Uh, those guys aren't too difficult uh, to beat. Um, I just couldn't see them because they're camouflaged. But now that uh, now that I can see them, uh, they are fucked, and uh, they're going to die once I uh, get back to that area. But yeah, I'm kind of just uh, I'm trying to go to as many like optional areas as possible just to uh, and I might actually try to like get past the area with the evil cats uh, those enemies are difficult but uh, I haven't tried to like kill them really before like, I died to them one time, like, I went up there a couple of times, and each time I just got killed by the cats. So, I might see if there's any way, because I am better at the game than my first playthrough. Uh, right now I'm getting ganked up by multiple enemies, which always sucks. Yeah. Yeah, even with three of them, they don't uh, stand a chance against me. Yeah, obviously, um, if you're in a situation like this and you don't think you're going to get out alive, just run. Enemies in this game don't follow you forever. Uh, so, 
you know, if, if, if you're confident enough that you'll kill all these enemies, then, you know, go for it. But if you think you'll die, it's best not to get ganged up on. That can't get me, motherfucker. I pretty much have most of this game memorized. So, uh, not all that difficult for, uh, me to get through. I mean, once you beat the game, like, it's gonna get easier and easier. Like, once you keep playing this game over and over, like, I'm not trying to brag at all about my Dark Souls, uh, skill. All I'm trying to do is just uh, explain that uh, the more you play the game, the better you'll get at it. That's really all I'm trying to get at is that when you fight the same enemies over and over, you learn their attack patterns, and that's basically why I'm not dying all the time in this game, because I've already beaten it. That's all I'm really trying to uh, explain here. Okay, we're gonna go over this bridge again and we're gonna go up here And yep, this is where I died to, uh, this motherfucker. Come here, bitch. Oh, those- oh, he has more health than, uh, oh, shit, okay. See, I think these guys are actually stronger than, uh, the others. Okay, well, we're just gonna get our, uh, oh, shit, fuck. Okay, that's right, you're there, too, okay. Okay, we're gonna come down here. And, uh. We'll go. Yeah. yeah. These guys have a lot more health than the others, and I think they do more damage as well. Oh, there's three of them? Are you fucking kidding me? No, no, ah, fuck! Okay, see, that, that explains it, actually, because I was wondering how I died from getting- Oh, fuck! Are you fucking serious? <sighs> What the fuck? Okay, so... We may not want to, uh, go up there for right now. That might just be a good idea. I'm gonna go back, uh... Actually, just, uh... To see if there is anything I can get by running into the area. Basically, what I'm going to be doing here is just uh, running through and trying to get any collectibles before. Uh, and I have my homeward bone. I also have all this shit in here because for some reason it thinks every time I get a fucking item, it should add it into my uh, quick item menu, which is really annoying because all I want here is a homeward bone, which I will use pretty shortly, and my essence flask. That's all I want in there. And a Dark Souls remastered, you don't have to deal with that, but I really hate having to, like, remove, like, everything in the game. I don't know why they would think, like, oh yeah, you got an item, well you're obviously gonna want to immediately equip it. Oh, seriously, there's four of these fuckers now? Oh. Seriously. Uh. Yeah, you might want to take these guys one by one and just aggro one of them at a time and then kill the rest at a different time.
Ah, fuck. Okay. Drink, 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 drink. Thankfully, these guys aren't fast, uh, so you can uh, pretty much always get uh, an Estus in. I can't believe that, like, three of those guys showed up earlier, like those uh, leaf guys. Like, I thought they were just normal leaf guys that just caught me off guard, and I was uh, pretty surprised uh, that that happened, but... Oh, fuck! Seriously. Oh. All right. Ah, hey. oh, come on. All right, keep tracking. Yeah, so because now I only have like three fucking Estus now. These fuckers. You know, I can't wait. For the, uh, because I'm also gonna do a, uh, playthrough of, like, some, like, Mario games. I plan on doing that. Actually, maybe Doom Eternal as well. I might do, like, a, uh, guide on, uh, beating Doom Eternal. Uh, but for that, I'm gonna use, uh, an actual microphone. Instead of this, uh, this shitty mic from a head set. Anyway, I do want to get uh, that humanity as well as uh, those souls, so that's why I'm going back. Uh, I'm just going to get there and homeward bone the fuck out of there. Uh, I'm just gonna get my health the full, and I'm just gonna run around until it's no longer a good idea. I'm just gonna run away from all enemies. Um, hopefully, if I run far enough away, I can uh, de-aggro them. I mean, I don't want to get ganged up, though. And that's uh, my only concern, because I won't be able to use more bone. Okay. So then I just do that, and okay. Okay, let's run through. Let's see if we can get anything good here. And I'm just gonna get. Oh shit, that, that guy's running down there too. Okay, we're just gonna run, 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 run. And actually, that's not safe at all. We're gonna. We're not even gonna get anything because there are a shit ton of those guys. So we're just going to get the fuck out of there. There we go. And I need some more salt. Actually, how, how much was it again? Uh. Okay, I need about a thousand, okay, so I'm just gonna use one of these, uh, which is one of these? I think this is 800, no, it's a thousand, okay. Then we can level up, but, uh, see what we should level up. Hmm. Maybe just vitality for right now. But anyway, that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, so, yeah.